Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Studio Cat. Today we are doing a DIY background doing some stencil shifting technique. For this, you're going to need the Monster Bash and the Spider Web stencil. For your colors, we're using a teal, a purple, an orange, and a black. So your typical Halloween colors. For embellishment, we're using the Silver Polka Fusion. You're going to need black and white cardstock. And of course, some heat embossing products. We are going to begin with the spider web stencil. What we're going to do is we're simply going to blend and shift that stencil. It's going to make it super easy. You do not need to glue it down or tie it up or do anything to the stencil to hold it down to your surface. All we're going to do is simply blend and then we're going to shift it down. We're going to grab our next color, in this case being a purple, and we're going to blend it down. You can shift, you continue to shift your stencil and then do a little bit of a turn. That way your spider webs are all not the same. We're going to come in with the orange and going to a place where we haven't added some of that blending. And then last but not least, we're going to come in with that black, which is actually black soot from the Distress Oxides. And I felt that it wasn't so dark that it was going to be overpowering because we are going to be doing a little bit of layering of colors on top of each other just to really make this look nice and holiday-ish, nice and scary. So we're going to come in and add some of that black and see how pretty it's going to blend over that orange, yet you can still see that bottom orange. I felt like we needed more purple. So we're going to come in and add some of that purple shifting over the orange. And then last but not least, I'm going to grab that teal, which is super, super light, and then do more blending at the bottom of my cardstock. I'm using Nina 110 pound. I really love this cardstock just because it makes it super easy to blend and you get a beautiful, um, nice, even shades. So now we're going to come in with our Tombow adhesive. This is just your regular adhesive. We're going to place it over our black card base. Try to center that to the best of your abilities. I certainly am. And then we're going to come in with the Happy Halloween, which has been stamped from the Monster Bash, and I have actually heat embossed it with white embossing powder. And then I've added a piece of foam to the back just to really raise it and give it some dimension. So I'm going to place this on my card, trying to figure out where I want to place this, not quite centered. And then we're going to come in with our Studio Caddy Glue. So Studio Caddy Glue is liquid glue. It comes on white so you can see what you're doing. However, it dries clear, and this is absolutely perfect for all your embellishments. Then to grab the fusion sequence, I'm going to come in with my Crystal Katana, which is a tool that you can uh, have, and it has a wax tip, which makes it super easy to just kind of remove a little piece and make it sticky again. And then add some more of the Silver Polka Fusion. Super pretty. I thought these sequins just matched really well. This this Halloween card, and honestly, this would be a great card to mass produce because it is super easy to do the ink blending as you saw. And that does it. This is all for our DIY backgrounds doing some stencil shifting technique. This is Crystal Thompson. Be sure to stick around. There are a lot more videos on the Studio Caddy channel for your encouragement. Thank you so much. Have a great day.